I recently got the iPhone 15 Plus in green. And this is like my most prized possession at the moment. Before I had the 15, I had the 11, which is about like three, four years old right now. And I absolutely love this phone. It worked so well. I seriously love it so much, especially because green is my favorite color. So today I thought I would give you a little tour of my phone, but also I filmed a quick little unboxing, but the footage wasn't really long enough to make it its own video. So I thought I would just include it here. Start your computations. I think we're getting into a weird area here. Okay, but on with what's actually on my phone now. The first thing, of course, is my lock screen. I have this really cute green heart I made myself. Pretty sure I just use Instagram, and I think it's really cute. I also have two widgets on this one. First off is just the battery. Apparently, I have my AirPods connected. I didn't know I did, but it just shows me the AirPods, like what percent it's on. And then I also have a widget that's just a picture. It just says, I heart Chase Atlantic. Of course, I have the time, and then I have the date on the top. Everything is obviously obviously green of course. I think my favorite thing about my lock screen though is the little emojis I have right by the date. And then of course we have my home screen. Okay, first of all, yes, it is later on in the day. I decided to refilm this bit. So anyway, this is my homepage. Of course, I have everything alphabetized, but I also have different sections of apps on my phone and each of those sections are alphabetized. It's kind of confusing, but you'll see what I mean later. But before we even get into apps, let's talk about widgets. Most of the widgets that I have are basically all just picture widgets from Widgetsmith. Only one of them isn't from Widgetsmith and that's just my weather one. But in the top left corner, I have have this really cute green with white flower widget. It's so cute. Just a picture that I found probably on Pinterest or something and I uploaded it. The next widget is probably my favorite of all time. It's this really adorable clock and calendar one. They have a few like different templates on Widgetsmith and this is one of them. If you go into Widgetsmith and then you go to the medium widgets, you should be able to find this one under the time section. And I feel like one of the reasons why I love this so much is because it's like an active widget. So the hands on on the clock actually change and turn as time goes on and then the calendar changes each day and then the last widget i have is just another picture once again probably just found on like pinterest or something and then as for apps the first one i have is canvas i use it for school a lot next one is instagram i am on this actually quite a lot i don't really post that much at least on my main account but i am really active on my other one of course and then the next one is my notes app. One thing I forgot to mention is the apps on the first slide are all of the apps that I use the most. I go on all these apps once or twice a day and I use my notes app for there's so much stuff. I use it to like write scripts. Also use it for like planning, to-do list, whatever, whatever. One of the biggest things I use it for is actually for this channel because I use thematic for music and you have to have links in the description. So I always have to keep track of like what kind of music I'm putting in what video. The next one is my photos app. Pretty boring. It's not really much you can do on here. Just it's where all of your stuff is stored. Also, yes, I have an album just set for my best friend. Are you even friends if you don't? The next little section is more like social media stuff. I have Snapchat, YouTube. I just use to post videos, watch stuff, entertain myself, the usual. YouTube Studio is just an app to like, it's just a really quick and easy way to access like all of your analytics. You can see views, watch time, subscribers, you can see, read, reply, like, comment and stuff. So if you guys have a YouTube channel or you're looking into 
starting one, this app is a must. The next slide is all of my apps that I use quite a lot, but not as much as I do on the first page. There's also two separate sections on this slide. I have all of my photo editing or just like editing in general apps that I use quite a lot, alphabetized of course. And then I have other just random apps that I use a lot, also in alphabetical order. The first one I have is Facetune, which honestly isn't even downloaded on my phone anymore, but I still have this here. Actually, same with iMovie and Power Director. Don't even use those apps, don't even have them downloaded, but you know what? I decorated my phone a long time ago, so that's probably why. Same with Video Star. I have not used that in ages, but it's here. As for the apps I do use, I have Fonto, which is just like a text app. There is so many different fonts and everything, honestly. I love it. This is what I use to put text on my thumbnails, as do most people, I think. There's also Photo Layers, which is a really nice app. The app just allows you to layer your photos. I use it a lot for thumbnails also. I'm not going to go too into detail about like what this app is or how to use it, but if you guys are interested in like layering photos, this app really works well because you can also like erase the background of stuff. And we have Prequel. Prequel is just like a video and photo editing place. They have so many different effects and filters. You can also adjust the photo in the way that you could just in like a photos app. And I absolutely love this app. I use it for thumbnails a lot. You can also use it for like Instagram pictures. Some of you guys have probably heard of Prequel before because I know some of the templates they have have kind of gone viral on TikTok. I also have this app called Sketchbook. A lot of people actually use it for like digital art and stuff. I don't. I mainly just use it for graphics on videos. Like specifically, for example, I have this one that I made, like the little arrow, the little hearts, all of that. It's just little graphics I like to draw on thumbnails. So if you're ever interested in doing something like that for a thumbnail or just for like a picture, you can use Sketchbook. It's a really good app. And as for widgets on this page, this one just says positive energy. And then the other one is just white flowers. Pretty basic, but still cute. Apps, I have my America First account. I also have the App Store. Don't really download apps that often, but... I don't know where I was going with that. There's calculator, which is an essential for me. It's kind of sad. There's also calendar, pretty boring. Have my camera app, of course, my clock app, which I have like a million alarms that I do not use. I just always create alarms, but I never actually delete them. I have some streaming services like Disney Plus and Netflix. And then the last page that we have is basically just all the apps that I rarely use. The only thing I will say is an app I would probably move to one of the other slides is Pinterest. I use the app 24-7. During school, I am either playing a game or I'm on Pinterest 24-7. Not because I'm not doing my work, but just because I have it done. But when I first customized my phone, I did not use Pinterest a lot, so that's just why it's on this slide. Anyway, the first one I have is Amazon. I have Google Drive. Probably use that app like once in my life. There's FaceTime, which I don't really FaceTime people that much. Files. I only ever use this when I'm like downloading fonts for Fonto because you need to go into the app in order to install it into Fonto. There's Gmail, the health app, which I've never ever used. <laughs> can tell, it says welcome to health. There's the phone app, don't really call people. Mail app, oh, I'm not even signed in. I just use Gmail, mainly for school. There's Google Maps. This app is Mathaway. I have not used this in probably like a year or two. It's just one of those apps where you like take a picture of the problem and it like tells you how to solve it. Once again, like I said, I have Pinterest. I am constantly pinning things, mainly nail designs as you can see. Oh. I also have this room inspo board. I have like dinner pins, dessert pins. There's the ceramics pins, hair stuff, outfits. And then obviously my settings apps. There's the shortcut app, which is how I customized all of the different apps. Twitter, which I actually don't use. And then of course, Widget Smith. And then the last widget I have, like I mentioned earlier, is my weather widget. But yeah, I'm constantly checking the weather because I need to know how cold it's gonna be and what I need to bring or wear to school. Okay, and I know I said that was the last slide slide, but it's kind of not because I have this other slide. This is basically just full of a bunch of apps that I've downloaded way after I customized this and I just didn't want to go back and like change it. There's also a few other apps that I have downloaded that I usually just keep in my library, but I decided to bring it over here so I wouldn't forget any. But the first app I have is Discord. I just have it because I sometimes need to contact people from there. I don't really use it that often to be honest. I have PowerSchool, which is what my school does or uses for like grades and stuff. Stuff. Just realized it's getting really dark in here.
the lighting's still not that good but it's fine the next one i have is this game it's called block blast i play it almost every single school day i think it is such a fun game it's the only game i have downloaded although i will say i die a lot and there's ads every single time and it's so annoying there's no way to get rid of it so sometimes i honestly just play it with airplane mode on <laughs> so i don't have to deal with it clips keynotes and journal all came with apple so i haven't really done anything with it this next one is called lens buddy this is basically basically like a photo taking app. It's like just your camera app, but it's cooler because in my opinion, the quality is a lot higher, but also you can like set your phone up and it instantly takes a bunch of pictures for you. So it's really good if you're alone or if you're taking pictures with a friend, but you don't have another person to like hold the phone. Cause for me, when I take pictures, I usually set my phone down, start recording and then just do a bunch of poses and then go back and like screenshot it. But like with this app, you don't really have to do that. Really nice. And I love it. This next app is not gonna lie okay i haven't used it in a while because i did sign in but now apparently i've signed out but it's basically where you send anonymous messages in so you'll just post a link to your story people can go to it they'll like say something but it's all anonymous so no one knows next is visco i actually just barely well not well i've had it for a while but i just like barely started kind of using it i literally have not posted anything on it but my friend is always telling me that i always have good pictures that i just don't post and it's just because i don't feel like posting them like sometimes i'll post them on like snapchat story but just don't really want to post them on like instagram or like instagram stories so i was like you know i'm just gonna go with visco i don't know i probably won't even post on this either i don't know we'll see we'll see how it goes but feel free to follow me on there if you want the next thing is max to be honest i mainly use this to watch horror movies next is threads i created an account forever ago like when it first came out but i posted like twice and that's it it's fine um, the next one is Google Slides. I don't actually edit stuff on here. Like I always just do it on my MacBook, but sometimes I just need to access it and I don't have my MacBook with me. So it's nice to just be able to like whip out your phone and use it. I also have Google Docs. Same thing with Google Slides, don't really use it. The next thing is Grammarly. I love that app. And then the last thing I wanted to mention was the apps on the bottom. First have contacts and then I have messages. I also have Safari. And then of course I have Spotify which is 100% my most used app. I am constantly listening to music, but yeah, I use Spotify. I don't use Apple Music. I keep all of my playlists and stuff on here, but yeah, sorry it is so dark right now, but that is all I have on my phone. Looking back, I feel like I don't have that much interesting stuff on my phone, but it's what I use. If you guys are interested in any more videos like this, feel free to let me know because I think they're actually quite fun to film. She's the sun, she fell out the ground